Okay, the two stocks we're looking at today are both in the pharmaceutical sector, Gilead and Bristol-Myers. Um, and we'll start off by looking at some financial details for the two companies. We see from the table here that the market caps are very similar, uh, not 96 and 99 billion. Um, where we see a, um, some clear differences are looking at some of the ratios here. So we have the price to earnings multiple w uh, with Gilead have, coming in at 6.2 while Bristol Myers is looking much more expensive on this metric at 29.4. Um, similarly, well, with not as big of a difference on the price to book ratio, we have 5.21 versus 6.29 price to cash flow we have 5 versus 26 for Bristol Myers and actually even on profit margin right now Gilead's looking a lot better so looking at this first set of metrics in the table here it seems like Gilead is um, a lot more attractively valued right now um, however as we get further down the table we may come to understand why we're seeing such um, differences between the two companies so this is just showing the earnings per share over the last four years for the two companies again in the case of Gilead this looks pretty impressive um, we see a, a steady or, or a even rapid growth rate here these are annual numbers and um, we see every year for the last four years it's been going up uh, for Bristol Myers, we see um, a lot more up and down in these numbers. 1.16 from four years ago, and the last year coming in at 0 0.93. Uh, both of these companies do pay a dividend. Currently, the yield is similar for both 2.6 versus 2.7. Now. One reason why we see um, the market giving a much higher valuation for Bristol Myers is because as investors we aren't as concerned with past performance of course as we are for as we are in future performance and right now the analysts uh, have a much higher long-term growth estimate for Bristol Myers compared to Gilead. Uh, so this is just a estimated EPS growth number here and we see for Gilead it's actually negative while for Bristol Myers we see the analysts are expecting well they just have a much better outlook on the growth prospects um, for the company so to to kind of explain this Gilead gets is is focusing mainly on hepatitis C and HIV drugs with 44 percent of their revenue approximately coming from hepatitis C drug sales um, these hepatitis C drug sales are declining there's increasing competition and it's um, it's just a very competitive area and in fact Bristol Myers uh, also had some hepatitis C drugs however they are no longer funding development for um, of HIV or hepatitis C drugs due to the slower growth or um, increasing competition um, and instead they're doing a lot of work on oncology and cardiovascular programs um, so the market sees a lot better long-term growth prospects for these oncology programs for Bristol Myers hence the d difference in the estimated EP EPS growth forecast that we see here so if you were just looking at this based on um, current metrics and uh, past performance definitely Gilead seems like it would be the much uh, preferred one this is just of course not that simple because of the growth prospects we discussed so for Gilead it, it also 
they've had some late stage clinical trial failures recently and um, they need to find something to uh, start growing their earnings again to get um, to at least improve the opinion of the analysts and uh, one possible way of course they could do that um, which there's no indication of yet would would be through an acquisition um, or of course having some uh, clinical trials go more their way which they they have had um, some improving sales in some of their HIV drugs but these have come nowhere near offsetting the decline in the hepatitis C drug sales. Uh, next we'll look at a graph. This is just for the last two years. We see Gilead in blue, Bristol-Myers in green, and the S&P 500 in um, pink here. So over the last two years both have actually underperformed and actually just recently there was a significant decline in um, uh, the bio the the biotechnology and, and, and healthcare stocks in general. Um, however, of course, this is all based on what time frame you're looking at. If we were to look over the last 10 years, for example, we would see that there was a period of um, very rapid growth for Gilead and um, even Bristol Myers significantly outperforming the S&P 500 over that time period. Uh, one thing to keep in mind with any stock purchases, just talking about general market conditions at this time, the P-E ratio right now is at around 26, which is higher. It's only been higher two other times in the history, as we can see here. One, of course, the dot-com bubble. Um, and so so definitely the the market is very high right now so that carries of course a lot of risk with it from the two stocks we looked at here we see that of course um gilead is far away from this market average whereas um, bristol myers was closer to it um so that sums it up for this edition uh, remember to check the website here uh, for the next post.